When it comes to Gareth Southgate, what might happen post the Euros? We will know whether or not England have won uh, the trophy itself, whether they didn't. But regardless of that, there has been talk, as you know, and you've written about this in your mail column, about the possibility of him, or otherwise, heading to Manchester mm. United under the Sir Jim Ratcliffe revolution, of course, with Sir Dave Brailsford in there. And as you said in your column the other day, and this is your opinion, England will be the team to beat in the European Championships this summer. And if I was advising Gareth Southgate amid, rumor, uh, Southgate, amid rumours uh, making him the next manager of Manchester United, I'd say sit tight instead. In other words, stay with England. Why would he say no if the opportunity came along to go to Manchester United? I believe United? this is, um, I know they've been called it before, a golden period for English football with this group of players. And, and stick with that. They, are, they should only get better given the age group. I think Man United is an enormous job. He's had one go at, at club management and that didn't go too well for him. And he's in a, a glorious position. He, he, he ended up with a job through... Um, being very fortunate in what happened to Sam Allardyce. So he inherited a, a situation where this is a group of players that were just coming onto the scene that have got better and better and they've not peaked yet. And that's why I'd say that. What do you think, Simon? I mean, Graham goes on to say, Gareth is non-confrontational. He has a safe image, so that will appeal to some. Who you, Incidentally, who you, who you mean? Who are the some? People who, who, who will employ him. Mm. It's a safe yeah. pair of hands. I'm not going to challenge it, but also. The irony of it is, just not to be too facetious, is that Southgate was offered the job before Sam Allardyce because Sam told me that and ultimately mm. turned it down and stayed with it and then got it and then got it by default. I I think that there needs to be a question raised, which is if he doesn't win the European Championships this year, does it become still his choice as to whether he's still the England manager? Because if you've now had four tournaments and you've presided over a period of time where you've had these wonderful draws that other England managers would have died to have some of the opposition that we've had in competitions and then, and then only played and against... And a group opposition. of players. And, and, and I was going to get to that next. And a wonderful group of players and an also decline in the so-called power forces of, of world football. If you don't win something at four goes, normally it's three strikes and you're out, right? Everyone's made a case for it being a fourth strike and an opportunity. And now, clearly, I believe, emphatically, if Gareth Southgate doesn't win this tournament, unless there's some real tragedy that happens yeah, to you us... Know, you, you've go won. on, finish your sentence. Then he doesn't get to keep his job from his own choice. Yeah. He doesn't get to keep the England job. Yeah, but Someone else comes along and takes over and moves it on, and whoever that might be, whoever that might be. You've yeah. employed lots of managers and sacked lots of managers. Indeed. True. And, and never felt regret and about any so of them. So you, you know how it works. Prior to him going... To, if, if there is interest from a football club, those conversations will be taking place now. If you know he could, him or his agent would say, "Not, not interested." Or yeah, we'll meet, we'll talk about it. So, if his intention is to take a managerial job after the Euros, no matter what, th those conversations will be taking well, place. Well, already right be had. Now. But let's move it on to a more interesting part of the conversation because other people, specifically Liverpool people, would be delighted, I think, to have Gareth Southgate in the Man United dugout because of what they think he represents. Do you think? given what you've seen from him as an England manager, that that translates now to a football club that arguably is one of the most watched football clubs in world football, with the mm. biggest expectations, that needs to recover at some time in our lifetimes. Do you think now, move it apart from the, the golden generation argument of staying in England, because it's as good as it gets, Southgate, do you think he could be a Man United manager, and do you think he can be a successful I, Man no, United manager? No, I don't manager? think he'd be a good fit. I, 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 I don't know him. I've met him, and I think he comes across as a thoroughly decent man. That is a job which is um, fraught with danger, whoever gets it. And, you know, we're, maybe we're, we're being um, rude to the current manager there. You know, he may be there next year, but being manager of Man United... But you don't think is, he's got the chops either? Is, is, no, it carries a hell of a weight on your shoulders. You know, the day-to-day... -day, Only if you can't do it. When you walk through... When you're at a big football club like that, and you walk through the... You wake up in the morning knowing, I'm going to be confronted with several issues today that are going to be totally unexpected. The... Every day you're under scrutiny. Every every single move you make is scrutinised to the sky. Inch of his life, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, yeah. And, and I just and I think he's a thoroughly decent man, and it would it would be a very very hard put aside the decent that, side, man side of things. And you move know, you've it got into to the be territory. so thick skinned to be a manager to the and, end, and that's fine. Clubs. And it goes with the territory, and you get all the rewards that go with it. So develop a rhino skin. But the point is, is that do you believe that Southgate has got the football now? So put aside the decency of the man, because well, like I, I, come back, I, I come back. I come back. You know decent. my take on football management. I think the, the thing you have to get right first, second, and third is recruitment. Yeah, always. So I think it's 
there's a group of people there now that are going to have the biggest say in that. And he doesn't have any recruitment experience. He's, and he's going to have the biggest say in that. As I come back to it, I had one go at Middlesbrough and it didn't, it didn't go too well for him. So but Walker, his PR, Danny Mills, will turn around and say that's because he was 36. And, 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 and that was a very young manager. So it's an unfair judgment call to judge him between, for the three years it was at Middlesbrough, which ended them in the I middle of the I managed a big football club when I was 33 years old. Sure. So you're just saying, as a matter of course, you don't think Southgate is a fit for United I for don't a think, I know. And my advice to him would be no. I think that, I don't see that being a quick fix. I think Man United are, you know, they are where they are. They've been in, by their standards, and people think I'm anti-Man United. I'm certainly not. There's so much to admire about Man United throughout their history. And when you go to Man United, you're, you know, you're in one of the great football arenas of the world. This, I want to put this to you as we go into the break, Graham. Say, say Gareth gets to the final of the Euros and loses it with England. Thereafter, is offered Manchester United. You say still, still stay with yeah, England. It doesn't work like that. Man United will be making their mind up before the Euros are... Yeah. Anywhere, anywhere so Southgate Europe. would know going to Germany yeah, whether or not the Man United well, job's been offered them. Whether it's, whether it's Gareth Southgate or not, Man United, if they are going to change their manager, and you have to say that's, that's still up in there, no one knows that. If they were going to change... Okay, let, why would they change the manager? If they don't get in the Champions League, don't win the FA Cup, then do they change the manager? I think there's a, I think there's a real possibility. If they win the FA Cup and get into the Champions League, maybe they don't change it. It'd be a real argument not to change it. Not win the FA Cup and get in the Champions League, there's still a real argument, argument for not to change it. So these are, all, these are decisions that the new footballing powers at Man United, they, they'll be discussing that on a regular basis. They may already have made their mind up one way or the other. Okay. But whoever gets that job, if there is a new manager coming, it is fraught with danger. And it's, it's not, not Southgate, self- in your opinion. It's a hell of a job. It's fraught with danger. But any big job is. So is Liverpool, isn't it? And, yeah, any big job is. Fraught, fraught with danger or fraught with opportunity. Yeah, and, and, and equal amounts. But I think Man United, they've been for over a decade now. They they have given a, but isn't a it master fra- class on how not, isn't it fraught and with not to... Yeah. Not to as Jim How not to recruit it, a big football club. Isn't it fraught with opportunity? Because Man United fans now have been so stamped upon for expectation yeah. at levels that you could wheel an Ange Postacoglu in there to go and, and create a brand of football that they enjoy and they'll tolerate a little bit less of the performances in terms of outcomes than they're currently because they've got a team that's not particularly easy to watch at times and they're not winning anything in the last mm-hmm. year or so besides the League Cup. Mm. Mm-hmm. So okay. it's an opportunity, isn't it? Uh, I mean, yes, we're, we're talking about Southgate and if the opportunity... If- the opportunity arose for him to go to Manchester United, would he be silly to turn it down? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.